Please welcome, with or without pants, Fred Syriac. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I'm actually wearing nice pants. I can show you. Yeah, if you'd like Stop to. Your your pants pants like yes. This. Would you like to I'll see I'll show you later on, ladies. <laughs> what is great? How are you, Judy? <laughs> nice to see you. You OK? Yes. Oh, well, that How went you? in an yeah, unexpected good. direction. How are you? You're good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you look good. It yeah, I feel good. good. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, you're a fan of the old budgie smugglers, now that I think about it. Yeah, I love I love my speedos, yeah. Yeah, I just saw a picture of you the other day. Oh, yeah. You? But yeah, well, you were you really cool, looking great. It's a very French thing, isn't it? Cos we got caught out once and went swimming in France to a pool, and they give you a pair of speedos. The men aren't allowed to wear anything else. But when you swim, you can swim much faster and it's much easier to swim with speedos. <laughs> and then when you dry, you know, it just it's not wet on your legs yeah. and you get a full yeah. tan. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's a clue in the name, isn't there? Yes. Speedos. <laughs> speedos, <laughs> yes. Speedo. Makes yeah. sense. But you, you said, I read about um, this, because you were in the paper the other day with Emma. Yes. Um, that was the another... picture I yes. saw. Yeah, Emma in, in Mexico, I Emma think it was. Emma Right, yeah. yeah. In your... Just snugglers. <laughs> yeah, we were filming a scene for this new show that we're filming. It's going to air on the 18th of December. It's called World Cook. So it's an international oh, yeah. cooking competition. Oh. And I think it has the making of becoming the best competition, the cooking competition oh, wow. in the world. Wow. Yeah. But you said before that you wouldn't be photographed like that, and now you would because you're, and I'm quoting you, happy with your package. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. this, is, this is so funny. I was all interested in the food. I thought we were going to go back to well, food. It sounds like no, no, it sounds like this is the food. <laughs> no, but you know, no, it's not what that. was wrong with it before? No, there was nothing wrong before, but you know, as you grow up, you know, we all, all have these hangs up, you know, with our body. Yeah. You know, and yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was younger, you wear your speedos, you go, you know, you're at school and you go and swim and you feel a bit, you know, you, you don't feel confident and comfortable. You want to hide yourself. Mm. Yeah. This is me. That's, yeah. that's the best of me, you know, and that's my body. Yeah. And, and you are a package, right? Yes. You are the package. <laughs> yeah. okay, I'm glad I've got that one up. Do you know what? We had no intention of going down this road <laughs> when, we, when you sat down for it, but unfortunately we did. I want to ask you a question that probably everyone else knows, but from first age, were you ever a real maitre d', or were you kind of cast for that show? All my life. That's all I've done all my life that since I'm 16 years old. Thing. Yeah. Wow. Ah, all right. So your love of food, your love of wine, you know, is is in there for decades. That's what I've done all my life, and uh, I've you know uh, done TV just by accident because of the charity work I've been doing for years, and the BBC heard about it, and this is when I did my first TV show in 2011. It was called Service, and yeah. then I, I kind of caught the bug because I, I liked it. I like the the creativity side of television, and it's a bit mad, and I'm a bit mad like that. So I carried on working in a restaurant business and 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 doing television on the side, and uh, yeah really enjoy and this is the same skills and the same values that you use in restaurants you know you can use in in, in tv and be, be successful yeah. at it because of that yeah. yeah and you've come right back to your first love because you've got a new book out called wine uncorked mm -hmm. um because you want to kind of dispel some of the snobbery around wine and and sort of introduce people to to wine and what they should know and because of that we've got ourselves a bottle of wine of course um, you do so there we go. <laughs> can i just ask you something i i actually i don't know if you're the same girls right I love my food. I can I can talk about anything in a restaurant. Oh, this is something that you can't do. Like put glasses, put your oh. fingers in the glass. No. Oh, that's yeah. that's contamination. Well. Yes, that's yes, yes. But but when it comes to wine, I am properly intimidated. Are you? I feel, yeah, I do. I get really intimidated. You don't look like, it when we're instance, out. <laughs> <laughs> but for instance, you know when they come up and say, "Would you like to taste what, it?" The yes. Right? I, I usually <laughs> say, "No, just put it in." And and the. <laughs> And the reason for that is... Do you say that? I do. <laughs> I say, just tip it in. And I'll tell you why. Because I yeah. don't know what no, to yeah. do if I don't like it. Well, you do this. You, you, well, it doesn't I, matter I if you like it. I usually do this. When they come to me, I go, can I order that one? Yeah. And then <laughs> they bring me the wine. I usually... <laughs> she does. I've seen her do this. <laughs> and then I'll say, no, I don't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what I can't 
Do, are you allowed to say I don't like yes, it? Yes, of course. Of course. But, you know, what, what, but they've already opened the bottle. But what Judy was doing here is quite telling because she was lifting a little pinky yeah, like that. Because that. there is this pretension with wine, you know, it's very pompous. <laughs> She's you know, very pretentious. It can be seen as something that only educated people who've been to yeah, university exactly. can drink, when actually, you know, it couldn't be further from the truth. You yes. know, it's mm -hmm. about enjoyment, it's about the senses. And the senses mm -hmm. is the way that we enjoy life. You know, what you see, what you smell, mm -hmm. what you taste. And this is just a feast for the senses. So it's not just about the wine, it's about the emotion it triggers Spirit. and then the, yeah. the memories that you have. So if a wine doesn't feel right in a restaurant, you send it back. Exactly. Well, even, well, even well, there's it, nothing it, wrong with it, but you just don't like yeah, it. No, I mean, look, there's the two reason. things here. If it's wrong, if it's, the wine is wrong and it's faulty, you know, there's, there's a problem, mm -hmm. it's madarized or it's too acidic or whatever, then send it back. Mm -hmm. But if it's right, it's not to your taste, then it's, it's a different story. Yeah. And just obviously, it's not to my taste, right? Yeah. So let's just try this wine and see. We can and share, because we know each other, we yeah. can share the same and glass. And you can get more time. If you go to a right restaurant and there's a sommelier there, they will let you... <laughs> you can ask for a taste, isn't it? You can ask for a yes, taste. Yes, of course. I always do that. I, I went to one, I had about six yeah. different, different yeah. wines. <laughs> but it's amazing because they teach you all the different wines to whatever your starts are, your dessert, you've got I dessert wine. I love you're not wine. intimidated at all yeah. by it, are I you? was, and then, you know, I'd meet certain people <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, so Fred, what should you do then? You go in a restaurant. So, you know, you want this one? look, what I wanted to do with you have the, to smell it first. first. You are yes. supposed to smell what it. I wanted to do with the book is give enough information and knowledge to people so that they can feel confident when they go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. supermarket. That's they know how to I read want. a label, mm -hmm. and they yes. just have the, the right information so they can pick the wine. Okay. And if you know what's in this book here, this is enough. You can just enjoy yourself. So, tasting with the wine is is, is, is three things: looking at the wine first, looking at the color, and here yes. you can see mm. this is quite a, a deep rub. rub be colour. It's got legs. It's got legs. Yes. So yes. the legs here basically indicates the amount of alcohol in the glass. Yes. What, what, what's yeah. left here? Yes. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, so the legs. Drink, oh. drink bits. Yeah, coming down. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know so that's that. an indication. So this one is a Malbec from Argentina. Oh, so this is quite uh, alcoholic. It's 14 percent. So you can see oh, there in the glass. Oh, in the legs. But you can see the colour is indicative of a, of a young wine because it's really, it's really red and bright. If it was older, it would get on the orangey tones. Oh, oh like Carol. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> But I see it get darker. It gets much darker red. The the kind of you know. The orange is on the side. The oh, orange is on the it? side. Yes. Oh. So you see, then... this is nice. It's good. I like. Well, it. you yeah. stop interrupting. You've only got a minute to tell us. <laughs> that's fine. And Sorry, then you, Fred. That's fine. And then you nose it because <laughs> fifty percent of the pleasure of drinking wine is through your nose, and this is when you develop all the aromas. That's nice. It is. So, it is good. That's making me feel a bit. What do you, what what do you smell, feel. ladies? I, I smell berries. It's quite rich in flavour. I feel it's quite rich. I can. I can smell the depth. It's Black quite berries. woody. It's quite. It's quite earthy. Yeah, woody, earthy. That's right. The, 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 the red Currenty. berries. Currant tea. Can I smell mm. currant or berry? Berry. Mm. Berries, berries. A bit of yeah. spices. Ooh. You know what? There is also the smell of petrichor. This is a very fancy word for you know when the rain oh, falls on a <laughs> on a dusty track. Yeah. And you know the smell of the rain when it's when. Yes. I love yes, that that's what it does. What's, that, what's that word again? Petit 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 All right, because Judy wants to use that. <laughs> go on, Judy, go on. It's got a smell of petit corps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's delicious. I'd love to be a it sommelier. Is good. And then finally, You'd be a good one. once you've smelled it, but every time I drink a sip, I always smell the wine. Always, because it's twice the pleasure. You know, yeah. and we need to, we are in life, we need to enjoy life. That's what Will was saying, isn't it? Absolutely. And life is to enjoy and to have fun. Mm. And let's just enjoy it. Well, oh, it's very smooth. I want to learn about wine. Well, I'll tell you what, I've loved yeah. that, but unfortunately Ooh. we're out of time. Oh, sorry. Oh! oh. 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 Right. So, we finish the bottle? But I want to stay here, I like it. <laughs> oh, we we like it. it. I thought yeah. we were going to talk about pants. <laughs> Because I wore my you best can, do you ones. Want to stay? Do you want to stay? Yeah, yeah. I'll stay. Yeah. Yeah. can stay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.